Hello everyone, I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. In this video, we're going to integrate ESXi hosts with Active Directory. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of our content. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your ongoing support. Your likes, comments, and shares mean the world to me. Let's start. Integrating VMware ESXi hosts with Active Directory allows for centralized management and authentication of ESXi hosts through Active Directory user accounts. This integration streamlines access control, making it easier to manage permissions and user access across ESXi hosts. This integration simplifies user management, improves security, and streamlines administrative tasks. To integrate ESXi with Active Directory, You'll configure the ESXi host to communicate with your Active Directory domain. This involves establishing a trust relationship between the ESXi host and the Active Directory domain. This is my ESXi host. At first, I should configure DNS servers in IP settings. Click on Default TCP IP Stack. To access Default TCP IP Stack, click on Networking, then TCP IP Stack. Edit settings. Write this information correctly based on your environment. Now click on Manage under the Host menu. From the Security and User tab, click on Authentication, then join the domain. Write Active Directory domain name. We need an account from the Active Directory to join ESXi host to the domain. Write Active Directory username and password, then click on Join Domain. As you can see, this ESXi host joined to domain. Now I have to give the permissions for groups or users to access and manage this ESXi host after login by using their Active Directory accounts. This is my security group. This user is a member of it. I also add an administrator account to this group. My ESX I host places on the computers group after joining to domain. Click on host. From action menu, select permissions. Click on add user. Write domain name backslash then group name or username. If your group name contains space, you have to write the caret symbol instead of space. Select the role that you want to assign to this group. If you add a group from the Active Directory, you have to select this checkbox. Click on Add User. Close. Now log out from the root user, then try to log in again with the Active Directory user. Write Active Directory user and password. Then press Login. OK, I can log in with an Active Directory username that is a member of an added security group. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts or any questions you might have. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance your friends and family will too, so don't hesitate to share it with them. Sharing is caring.